welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we're going to do kind of, I guess, my first haul. Um, I got a bunch of different Pokemon merchandise last month, and I know it took me a whole month to get it, to get it together, but um, I got a bunch of Pokemon merchandise, and I thought I would share it with you guys today, especially since I've done a lot of videos of just me talking. Um, so I'm just going to dive in and get to like the real nitty gritty stuff. Um, I have... I have two dolls that I got this month that are new, and then I got a new Pokemon shirt that I'm going to style for you guys, and a Pokemon dress as well, to kind of show you guys different options of, like, how to wear certain, like, video game merchandise, but not look, like, too young, or if you're, like, trying to be someone like me, who's in their early 20s, early to mid-20s now, um, and who still wants to wear these sorts of pieces, but they don't know how to wear them in a more professional setting, um, I can show you guys how to do that, and I'm very excited to do this, like, little lookbook for you, too. So first of all, let me show you the dolls I got. I know you've seen this one in a couple of videos already, um, but this is my Lapras that I got from the Pokemon Go event. I think it's very, very cute. It's part of the Pokemon Center's like very specific collection where they're just doing these like really um, cartoony, just black, simplistic eyes. And I like it a lot. It's one of my favorite dolls. And partially because I got it as a prize, um, but also because it's my spirit Pokemon and it's cute and it's baby and I love it. And I know I've shown it off in a couple of videos, but this is the last time you'll see it from me. But I, since I got this um, in January, I thought I'd put this little plug in as well. So yes, this is my Lapras doll. The second doll I have for you is actually one I ordered online on Amazon. And I, you know, I had a little itch to scratch and I just wanted something new to add to my collection. That wasn't too expensive so I actually found this um, slack off and I think it's very very cute it's just obviously just laying on its stomach and pretty chill um, but the quality is pretty good especially for just buying something online on Amazon um, it's really cute and I think I got this because I remember I made a video about the Pokemon to go community game when it was like um, a slacking themed one and like this was one of my first shinies in the game and so ever since then I've been like kind of more fond of it I remember being little and trying to put this on my team the first time I got I think I had sapphire first and then emerald um, But I tried using it in the first playthrough and I never I didn't stick to that commitment and I really should have um, But yeah, this is my little slack off and I think he's very apathetic and very very cute So this is also something for you guys just to look and again Amazon um, if I have links I'll put links down in the description below I know sometimes I'm kind of wishy-washy about that but I forget if I forget just like shoot me a comment and be like hey girl get on your stuff because you know this is a community project this is a community channel and I listen to all sorts of feedback that you guys give me so I'm really um appreciative of all that because it makes me better too so for this next part I will probably either do a voiceover or I'll be talking you guys through the outfits so we're gonna take a quick editing video change real fast. Okay, so this is the first dress. I got this from Hot Topic Online and it is in size medium. This is just like a normal t-shirt dress. Um, it's a little big on me, but I really liked it because it has pockets and it kind of goes with like the oversized feel um, with the additional pockets. And so this is me just styling it with a winter coat and some accessories. It's still January where I live. It's still, I mean, not January. It's February where I live. It's pretty cold. Um, so this is just a kind of a way for you to style this kind of really thin dress, but suitable for winter time. And I really like the pattern of this coat. I got it from H&M, I mean, Banana Republic, and it was on sale and it was a really good find. This is a more like a going out look, I guess, not super dressed up, kind of casual. I have a thing where I like turning my dresses into actual shirts. So I just kind of paired this with like really bright red pants, really funky like belt bottoms. Um, the silhouette looks really good on my body type. And I kept the hat and everything. But this is just kind of a way for you to look like cool, but like not that you put too much work into it. And so I just went with a purse that, you know, matched that. This is a shirt I got from Etsy. It's also in a medium, so it's a little big on me, but I really like this shirt because it shows like a little Cyndaquil with inside a Game Boy with sunflowers. And I like this one better than the other options she had. It was, um, they were all really kawaii and they had sparkly eyes, but I just think the Cyndaquil one was my personal favorite. And I got it in peach to match my hair, but obviously that doesn't really match my hair anymore. And this is just kind of ways to dress it up. So I'm just wearing it still with leggings, but this is an easy way to kind of have like a more casual work look for work 
Um, this is like another going out option with the blue jacket. And I'm still wearing my pink heels too to just give a little extra oomph. But if you're someone who doesn't wear heels, you can obviously pair this with boots instead and still look really, really cute when you wanna go get like drinks or something. This is another way to make it a little bit more corporate. Um, this one's a little bit funkier. So I paired this with a pencil skirt. I don't normally wear pencil skirts to work, A, because it's cold, but B, um, they're kind of hard to fit me personally. But I really like it with these heels, so although like it's mint and you don't necessarily find that in the shirt, it still kind of goes with all the pastels. Um, but this one's my favorite. So these are my favorite pants that I own. They're from H&M. They're high-waisted and super stretchy, super comfortable. I wear them to work all the time. And this is an outfit I actually do wear to work quite often because I'm a teaching assistant. So I can be like cool and fun and young, um, but I still give an air of like, I know what I'm doing, um, obviously. But yeah, these, um, the jacket is also from H&M and it's a great place to wear to work. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. <coughs> If you liked it, please let me know by liking the video, sharing it with a friend, commenting down below, or subscribing to this channel. That sort of engagement really helps with everything on this channel. It kind of gauges like where I think the channel is going to go in terms of which videos are popular and which ones aren't as popular, um, and like where I should be like shifting the content to match like what my audience wants. So that would be super duper helpful. Sorry, I the outro I didn't record the outro when I was like already dressed and stuff. So I'm like recording this now, it's a little bit shaky. But thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Um, let me know if you wanna see more videos of the merchandise I get from Pokemon, like in future videos, or if you wanted me to do more fashion-y videos and maybe you guys wanna see like what I wear on a daily basis or what I wear to work and stuff. Um, that could be really, really fun too. I really like making this, this is a new style of video for me, so any sort of feedback could be like super helpful. Um, thank you so much for watching and until next time, Thanks. Bye.